All right, guys, so welcome back to the Alien Cube. You may remember that we actually played this in its demo form, and I loved everything about it. The mystery, the cliffhanger that we were left on, the world that's been created around this whole thing. And today is the day we get our hands on the full game. I do want to say a massive thank you to Alessandro for sending me a key so I could play this thing early for you guys. I literally can't wait to go. But before we do, I just want to read to you all what the game's about, just in case nobody's seen the demo and you all know and kind of refresh yourselves on what we're getting into. Worlds collide as your cursed inheritance throws you into the middle of a series of mysterious events. Discover terrifying secrets as you follow your uncle's disappearance and confront a terrible truth that will change your life forever in this cosmic horror first-person adventure. So strap yourselves in, guys. Get comfortable, get a drink, get some snacks. Here we go with the Alien Cube. Chapter 1, The Event. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. H.P. Lovecraft. Here we go. Oh yeah, I remember this, waking up in this creepy cave. Where am I? What am I doing here? And so it begins. Press left mouse button to interact with objects, space to jump and C to crouch. Should I have oh, I remember now the sound design. What's this? Man in this picture is me. How is that possible? What's that place? So a lot of this I'm going to be refreshing myself with. So if you did miss out on the demo, don't worry too much because we're going to be going over it again. I have no idea what's happening there. I do remember seeing this though because it reminded me of uh, something I'd seen in the Predator universe. I can't quite put my finger on it though. Look at that. Just placed on a bed of skulls. Such a cool design. Oh yeah, we can see what it says. What sort of creature is this? Its appearance gives me the shivers. I can absolutely agree with that. So, I do know that there's more than meets the eye with this. The, the little bit of digging that I've done and the stuff that Alessandro has told me about, and he hasn't given me any spoilers, there's a lot more than what we played off from the demo in terms of like unraveling things, which I'm really excited about. You can see the outside, but the crack is too small to get through. We've got to find another way around. Okay, we can just get a glimpse of that beautiful outside world. And it really is, too. Like, it's such a difference from being in here and then being out there. And make no mistake, guys. This is a horror. There's a reason we're playing this around the time it is now. <laughs> the spooky month. I was really looking for something to sink my teeth into. Oh, yeah, the uh, mechanisms. I forgot about those. I was really looking for something to sink my teeth into, and this came along at the perfect time. It's all this business. What are these gears for? It seems there's some huge machinery behind this wall. Okay. If I remember right, didn't we have to find like a key or something like that in order to open to get to the outside world? Even though, like, We've had a glimpse of this. I'm still really jumpy because of, like, the ambience that it's creating. It doesn't work. Oh, yeah, I remember that. What was that sound? Like I'm telling you guys, there's more than meets the eye with it. Oh, listen to that. Sounds like something mut muttering something under its breath. Can we see it? Is it burrowed into the rocks or something like that? <laughs> Kinda don't even want to know what that was. It sounded loud and big. I don't really want to be terrified this early on. Let's just enjoy the beauty of what we're about to experience. I've got the uh, the gears. I think it's here. Yeah, it's this bit. Okay. So we place them on this. And then 
There we go. Oh, okay, you can breathe a little bit now. Let's get outside. Just look at this. <laughs> I'm probably going to say this a million times throughout this, but... This place is absolutely beautiful. I think I remember saying as well, like, the first time I experienced what was created here, I believe it's on the CryEngine too, it reminded me a lot of the forest. Listen to that. A little mushrooms growing on that too. Look at this terrain. Squeezing through all the cracks. Making our way to the actual river. And then when you see this, I just... Oh, look at that over there. No idea what it is. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out. A little bit of Skyrim about it, too. You know? You guys getting that? Let's keep it going. Some weird monuments all over this place. I remember in the demo that I wanted to just do a little bit of exploring, and then I think parts of it were blocked off. Maybe they weren't finished, but not right now. This is it. I can go wherever the hell I like. What is this? <gasps> what are you? statuette you found a secret oh okay so maybe that's the reason why i couldn't venture too far away from the trail last time such a nice place to be <laughs> it's it's just completely letting your guard down just walking through the wilderness like this i could do it for hours there we go slowly make our way down it half looks like there's some kind of coliseum over there. You guys see that? And then some big old tower. And I'm sure a lot of you guys actually live in places around the world where you have views like this. And I'm just going to say it right now. I'm so jealous of you guys if you do. What's going on? Oh my god. No, no, no. Come on, let's go investigate what's going on. Something fell out of the sky. Let's go and find out what it was. Everything's on fire. <laughs> Flames everywhere. I'm hearing voices. I think. This was the area. I don't know if I saw any animals around this spot. Was that here? I could be massively hallucinating with that, but I could have swore that we saw animals around here. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, there we go. The alien cube. It was all a dream. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if it's the same voice actor. That dream was so realistic and disturbing. Everything I felt was so real. I'm so tired. I need to go to the bathroom and freshen up. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it's the, uh... If it's the same voice actor. I don't mind it. it kind of fits so far. It's the place that we call home. We close doors after us. Oh, that's going to bug the hell out of me. The fact that I can't close that door like that. Force of habit from being a kid, guys. My nana used to scream at me all the time. Press J to open and close your journal. Let's see what we got. My dreams. Tonight, I find myself writing on the pages of my journal once more, hoping it helps me to fall asleep and to find peace again. Nights are troubled by sudden, unexplainable awakenings more and more often. Immediately afterwards, bathed in sweat, I feel terribly tired have an unpleasant feeling that I've experienced something upsetting that I don't remember. On second thoughts though, all of this could be due to recent events. The breakup with Jenny, the move and finally my uncle Edgar's disappearance. The latter event in particular must have upset me more than I've expected, considering the unclear nature of the facts. 
what the newspaper reports is very strange indeed. Only God knows what happened to him. My new home hasn't helped to improve my situation. Perhaps it's just too early. I need more time. The music too. You guys know I'm a stickler for that kind of thing. And this is perfect. Just setting the tone. Oh yeah, I remember this now. I, can I was trying to think if we could get in certain areas with this. I remember there's, a there's an area around this side that I was really interested in. I wanted to come back to it. Like all these spots. I think we could move this too. Yeah, there you go. You can take the food. <laughs> Scobbling up everything we got. Why not? It's our place. What's this? Oh, yeah. So there's a phone, some sticky notes, some boxes. What's it going to say? My cassette player. I'm not going anywhere without that. Good job we found that then. Are we wearing sandals? Oh, slippers. Okay. Computer. That's my new computer. It cost me a small fortune. It will allow me to work more often from home, though. Seems kind of fitting, right? Everything that's going on. I think that's it. Oh, fireplace. Are we going to turn the fire on? Okay. I don't remember that being interactable, but it has been a minute since we played. Car keys. Can't turn the TV on. Is there a PlayStation 5 hanging around anywhere there? I wonder if we managed to get our hands on one. Clock. That clock that Jenny gave me many years ago. It doesn't work, but I'm keeping it in remembrance of her. Who's at the door? Oh, it's probably the postman. <laughs> that relaxed nature. Oh. Oh, and you got to see the cargo too. Edgar's letter. Arthur, my dear nephew, if you are reading this letter, it means that I am gone. I gave instructions to a close friend to deliver this message to you in the event that something should happen to me. In the last few years, we lost contact with one another. I know, and I am sorry for that. My life changed a lot, and I am only a shadow of the man you knew when you were a child. I know that it was hard for you not knowing who your mother was, especially after your father's death. I haven't always been there for you, but I was going through a rough patch. I hope you can forgive me for that. As you know, I have never been married or had children, so I decided to leave you all my possessions, even though I don't own a lot. Your inheritance consists of my apartment and the old cabin in the mountains, which used to belong to your grandparents. This is all I have left. The apartment is situated in the building at number 13 at Oldwood Street in Winter Falls. It's quite old and in bad condition, but I could not afford anything better. Amongst my belongings, you will probably find some things you won't be able to make sense of. I ask you to discard everything without question. I'm referring in particular to my manuscripts. They are very personal, and as you will perhaps have been told, writing was my only solace in my darkest days. I ask you, therefore, not to read them and not to delve into my research. Get rid of everything so that nothing can be found. You will find the apartment key in this envelope. Do what you desire with it. But I beg you to respect my last wish. I've always loved you. Your Uncle Edgar. That was quite a touching letter to read stuff like that. It's, it's worded really well and even though it looks like we don't have any kind of relationship with him. He's left us everything he had. It's a letter from Uncle Edgar. It seems to be left old flat in town to me. I didn't expect that. I'd better go there immediately, okay. So do we need to get changed or anything? Can I just go to that? I can't go without my with my pajamas on, okay, I remember that. So go back to our normal room. We washed up in the sink. Yeah, we don't have any clothes in there. I like that though, like you're doing everything in order like you would. Clothes. Change clothes, there we go. I mean, he says you can't go out in your pajamas. <laughs> you could. You might look a little bit strange, but you could. I've got all that I need. Now I can go. Can we have a little bit more bread? I don't think we can take anything with us. Just like doing a last little bit of exploration or maybe picking something up that wasn't meant to be picked up. So we might not have to come back, you know? Having said that though, I wouldn't mind coming back to this spot. Lighting coming through the windows. Telephone? Let's try this. Okay, we don't got to call anyone yet. 
Go and take a look at Edgar's apartment. Be a long trip. Edgar's flat is many hours away. Chapter 2, The Apartment Uncle Edgar disappeared more than a week ago, yet I've just received a letter from him only to find out that I'm his sole heir. It's such a long time since I last saw him. I was only a child at the time, but he must have been fond enough of me to leave me his possessions as a legacy. I have never seen where he moved to in the last few years, but after having driven for many hours, I finally reached my destination. The address given in the letter led me here. To this old building in the worst district in Winter Falls. The apartment should be up there, on the top floor. So, this is located in a pretty bad part of town. Dead ones drown me. I died here. Oh, look at this stuff. What's this? Use? Oh. Come oh my... <gasps> I brought that on myself. This is not the right apartment. It was number 13, right? Of all the numbers. <laughs> it had to be 13. Not this one. Did we miss anything through that hallway? Oh, flickering lights. That's how you know you're in a horror movie. Oh, here it is. This is Edgar's flat. Let me just check out here before we go in. Oh, statuette. So I don't, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> what are you doing down there? I'm not quite sure. If I would have turned around then and there was something peeking, like round the corner, phew, it was over for me. I'm not entirely sure what those statuette things are. Maybe they're just little secrets that you can find along the way. The lights were on all this time. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Somebody's here. Close the door. Telephone. Ring the police. <laughs> Call back up. Immediately. We switch the lights on. It doesn't work. Oh, we just gotta go and see what's going on, right? Oh! Get out of Edgar's apartment, you son of a bitch. What's this? Statuette? Oh! We just turned it around. I don't know what that's done. Mechanism? There's a strange mechanism fitted into the wood. Something's been removed showing the gates. Oh, it's gonna be another one of them, right? And we're gonna have to turn it? Someone was definitely here, though. <laughs> I totally forgot about that little section there. We can turn this on, but I do remember what that does. It, bring, it brings through a bone-chilling sound that reminded me of the movie Signs. <laughs> of course, super dark, scary bathroom. Light switch. Don't you do it. What's this? A grate? There's something metal that's sparkling under the grate. The right tool should be able to open it. I've got to find a tool to break open the crate. Examine. What happened to the mirror? Oh my god, what is that? Is that stained? Draw. It's locked. A page from Edgar's journal. Finally, after many years, I returned to the old family home. Unfortunately, when I arrived, I saw that nothing of the house was left. Everything had been reduced to a sad pile of rubble. However, it was there. Among all the debris that I found that strange chest. Although clearly very ancient, it was exquisitely crafted, made from fine wood and decorated with strange geometric symbols that I'd never seen before. At first I didn't notice this, as when I was a child, I was used to seeing all kinds of bizarre objects around the house, found who knows where by my father during one of his countless journeys. The chest, however, had something sinister and mysterious about it, so I decided to extract it from the debris and try and open it. I hope that writing this journal will help me overcome my shock at my discovery, because what I found inside that terrible chest is not something that could belong to this world. I wonder what I found. Was it the alien cube, by any chance? <laughs> Piano!
I half expected that to open something. Oh, the horses. Look at that. Is that trying to give me a heads up of what to find? Let's crouch down, see if we can see anything. There's a can there. Extension. Not sure if it's in this room. Telephone. Can't use any of this, right? Switch? Nope. Get that back on. <laughs> Don't leave me in darkness. Oh! Little dog statue. I'm not seeing any handle or anything like that. That's been left around that I can use. Oh. There it is. It blew out the windows. I didn't press anything there either, guys. It it just kind of happened when I got close to it. Let's see. There was something blocking that door. Look at that. There's a tunnel down there. Let's see if we can go through. Just bracing. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's why we couldn't get through. Some food. Oh, why would you? No, yeah, no. Why would you eat that? No, no, no. I thought we were just going to examine it. Food is spoiled. I shouldn't have eaten that. Yep. Painting. There's a strange crack beneath the painting. Maybe I can move it. I can't move it. It's firmly fixed on the wall. Okay, well, <laughs> at least we attempted it. What about we find a hammer or something to smash the painting off? Move this back. Ooh. What's that disgusting substance? It smells terrible. I don't like the idea at all. I can try and get through that hole. <laughs> if I remember right, that is where the demo ended. So we are now in uncharted territory. The God's Eye. Whoa, listen to his voice. Oh, God. My head. Yep. Where am I? It'll be a little bit sore once you get kicked in the face to the point where it's knocked you out. All right, let's get a bearing of our surroundings then. What's going on? We're definitely not where we got knocked out. It's locked. Have to find a way out of here. Okay. What we got working with us? Cupboards. There's a grate. Here's a grate. Looks quite weak. May be able to break it with a kick. Here we go. Bust that shit open. Let's go. The passage is very narrow, but I have to try. Yeah, you do. Oh, God. I hope he doesn't come in for a deuce. Oh, that would be the worst case scenario right now. <laughs> We're alright, though. We made it through. What? Ooh. Let's stay crouched just for now. Documents. Journal of a member of the Order. October 30th. The disappearance of old William's son, Edgar Mitchell, caused us quite a few problems. It's been hard to keep track of every officer. But fortunately, they didn't find out anything at the scene of the fire. The purpose of that building must remain secret at all costs. At the moment, the case is in the hands of our men in the police. That detective won't set foot in our territories anymore. However, we must find out what happened to Edgar and close the case before someone else snoops around. We'll start by checking his apartment. So that's who was there. November 5th. We have proof of the existence of the God's Eye. The priestess was right. During the inspection of Edgar's apartment, we found some papers belonging to his father, Old William. Everything suggests that he was in possession of the sacred artifact without us knowing it. How is it possible that such a trusted member of the Order betrayed us? We're trying to understand where his hiding place is. All signs point to a location out of town, where there used to be an ancient village inhabited by our ancestors. 
Ooh, okay. And there's the horse. What relevance does that have, though? Are we still looking for another statue for that secondary mechanism we found? Maybe it was behind that painting. Can we find anything? Oh, is this the pictures that they took? So the mirror has some kind of relevance, too. Oh, there was a grate above us. I didn't even see that. Were they spying on Uncle Edgar? Who were those people and what were they looking for? We're definitely going to find that out. So if you remember in the, uh, in the letter... In the letter that Edgar left us... Oh my god, what is this? He said there was a, uh, a cabin in the hills or the mountains or something like that. Sure, that's where they could be hiding. Oh my... This is moving! Look at it. It's like it's breathing. Can we... Let me check this out. I'm going to try... Screwdriver. Nice. Oh! Go, 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 go. So can we take the painting down? I've got a screwdriver now. I can't move it. It's firmly fixed to the wall. Can I not use the screwdriver that I've just found? Family secrets. I've never imagined that my uncle could live in such squalor. The apartment is in very bad condition. And there is dirt and mess everywhere. The weirdest thing was the presence of a hole in the kitchen. And a stranger who attacked me and locked me in a room. Luckily I found a way out. But who was that psycho? He didn't look like a simple criminal. He behaved as if he was part of an organized group. I found some upsetting research on Uncle Edgar in the apartment next door. It seems that they were looking for an ancient artifact that was owned by Grandfather William. What else is he hiding in this apartment? There are still many things to discover here. Who knows what Edgar was investigating before his disappearance. So this is the hole that we got. We got that hi-fi system and then that's just the entrance. I'm trying to pay attention to that too. Alright, we got a screwdriver. What can we take apart that we can find? Because I need a door handle. For this? Yep, still can't get through there. What about if I... Yeah, that's just the items that I've got. Okay, there we go. So we can use the screwdriver to open this grate that was in the bathroom. They said there was something shiny beneath it, right? Small key. Okay. Nothing much has really happened. I've just been kind of inspecting the entire apartment for any... Like, little things we haven't seen yet. Little cupboards or anything we could inspect. There we go. That was the key to the drawer, and this is going to be Edgar's journal, isn't it? After that horrific discovery, finding the answers to my questions became a real obsession. So I started to study my father's old papers in depth. My research uncovered the existence of a mysterious order. Its origins are extremely ancient, but apparently still exists today. Indeed, I found clear references to it in my father's notes, and it seems that he was even a member. I also found out that in addition to the old cabin in the mountains, my father owned many other properties scattered around the area. I didn't even know. Why didn't he tell me about them? There was one place in particular that was very important to him, and it seemed that he did everything to keep it a secret. I made a map showing its location. I'm going to go there immediately. So that's where Edgar went to. Oh. Stonefield... Camping area, Northwood, Wolf Creek, Black Hill Forest, Black Hill Castle. There's going to be a lot of places we're going to investigate. So did Grandfather William secretly own a piece of land? Edgar must have found out and made this map. I better go there right away. I'll come back here later. Those who have imprisoned me are heading there. If I hurry, I can arrive first and find out more about what's going on. Although, I better go now. I'll come back later. Still can't try any of the doors. Is that a gunshot? Oh man, I don't even want to know what's going on in there. Can we press this again? What about the can? No, we can't take it. I'd at least have a can of soda with me or something. In case they came back. Something just, just distract him, throw it at them so he can get away. Chapter 3. The Secret Location. The road is getting arduous, but I should be almost there. My grandfather's secret place should be in a valley near an ancient castle not far from here. With a bit of luck, I should be able to arrive there before anyone else. 
Those who captured me are heading right there. Where the hell are we now? Oh, is that the castle that we saw on the map? Alright, where we gotta go? This... This looks like the way we came in. Let's get over this rope. And I guess just continue down this way. Oh no, wait, there's more up there too. I was kind of hoping for this though. When, when we saw that opening from the cave and we got let out into this environment, I was hoping that we'd get to see more of this. At the same time though, could you imagine this spot at night time? <laughs> it is going to be terrifying. Why is that just in the middle of the road? Oh, I suppose it's not as a little way up there. All the lights are flickering too. <laughs> it's creating that tension. That bush was moving over there. Do we go this way? Okay, so I can go up that way. I think I can shimmy around those rocks. Let's see what we got down here, though. Oh, yeah, look at that view. Holy crap. It's really weird so far because I'm having trouble making the distinction between what's real and what's not. Warning, no trespassing. We don't follow the rules. My grandfather's property should be behind that old building over there. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. There was another way back here, though, just before we head down there. Can we get up this side? Just in case I need to. Can we get up there? Oh, yeah. I think we can. If we're persistent enough, I might be able to get up there. Let's go and see what's going on with the property, though. Maybe there's something there that I need to grab. So far, so good. Doesn't look like we get anything to really worry about. I wouldn't mind. I know I say this all the time in these kind of mysterious puzzle type things, especially when it comes to a horror. I would really like some kind of weapon. You'd think after getting kicked in the head, <laughs> we'd have learned our lesson. Oh my! What the hell? Oh my! What's going on? Home. Remember before how I said I was having trouble making the distinction between what's real and what's not? Oh, that genuinely made me jump out of my seat too. <laughs> I mean, I was saying... Oh, what is this? Is this a portal? Oh yeah, we gotta try this. Are we okay? My head. What happened? Did he have an hallucination? It, it seems that way. Maybe we're, we're, we're crossing bridges between two worlds. Wait, I can push that? Oh, broken down old tree. Okay. Do not fall. Oh. Oh, okay. That's given me really sweaty palms just thinking about that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we're going to have to do it, aren't we? Okay, don't look down. Just keep going forward. Uh, and then jump. <sighs> I'm telling you guys, if I had to do some of this shit that I do <laughs> in real life, I'd be so screwed. <laughs> Heights is not my strong point. Most of you guys know that. How do we get around there? We gotta go all the way around? I don't think that was the plan. What's down this way? I do want to do, like I said before, I do want to kind of go off trail a little bit and have just a little bit of an exploration just to see if we can come across anything. You never know, like we did before with those statuettes. Nothing's moving down there, right? We're okay. It just looks like there's pathways with all these rocks. Nothing just left on the trees. All right, <laughs> let's stick to the path then. <sighs> the ambience has completely changed again, though. You guys picking up on that? That low drone? I'm telling you guys, as designed, something's about to happen. I feel like I'm not alone, too. Even though it, this is beautiful, make no mistake, but there's, there's this feeling right now, especially when we have to go into a place like this. Do not slam shut behind me. Do not slam shut behind me. Okay, nice. 
was going to say that felt like it was going to be an Indiana Jones moment right there. Ooh. You guys caught that, right? There was a shadow that moved. Oh, this is going to break. I knew it. I knew it. I called that shit. Rickety old piece of crap wood. Can we... What the hell was that? Something just hissed. We squeeze in here. Oh my god, I have no idea where we're going. I guess the first sign of danger, we're doubling back and going the opposite way. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? It's like an old mine system. I don't have a flashlight. That's TNT. Oh my god, pick up the axe, please. It won't turn on. It looks like there's no fuel in the generator. Can we go? Okay, we're going to need that powered. With fuel in order to progress any further then. Please take the axe. Oh my god. <laughs> As if you wouldn't take that. Alright, let's go back to where we were and then make a left. Let's go this way first. Easy does it. <laughs> Sold in my breath. Okay, it's another way out. I want to go back that way then. So if that way leads us round to, I think, where grandfather's old property will be, this way should be the way where we could potentially find fuel or run into that thing that we saw, which left a shadow when we first came in. And there is an ancient order trying to get to the same spot too, so gonna be on our toes for that too. Oh my god, please don't break. Oh Do we risk this? I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't risk this, but something's telling me that I should. Just go. Just go. Oh, there's a lever there. I'm not pressing it until I've seen what this is. I might never get another chance. Okay, Explorer's Journal. These places are full of secrets. We are all excited. At night, we observe the sky and those mysterious lights. While during the day, we explore these magnificent tunnels. The whole area is full of these underground galleries. It will take days and days to explore them. They are of inestimable value. I've never seen that word before. Who knows what kinds of ancient discoveries we might find deeper inside. It's said that there were ancient underground cities here, connected to each other by a network of tunnels that were populated by obscure cults. In recent history, however, no human being has gone into the depths to confirm this bizarre theory. I think we might be one of them. These tunnels are very dangerous indeed, as they could collapse at any moment, not to mention the risk of falling into those ravines. Rosa scared me when she said that she'd heard a strange voice coming from the depths of the abyss. Who knows what she really heard? But it was probably just a poor animal that had fallen down there. I can hear. That sounded like something running. Did you guys hear that? There it is. There's something down here. Okay, time to pull a lever. Wonder if you guys say lever or lever. Oh my god! Okay, note to self, don't pull the lever with the massive platform that gives away when you're underneath it. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, we're back. And this time I went the opposite way. <laughs> it's good. Did I just hear something? It's good to know that some of those choices can be your last. I did say when I approached that platform, I probably wouldn't do that. And to be honest, I don't know if it was worth it to find that note. This is one of those statuettes. This one looks really different than the last ones. This has got wings. Look at that. Some kind of gargoyle or something. I don't know. Was that just the noise of the secret or was something pissed that I picked that up? I'm not sticking around to find out. Now that I know that there's, there's consequences... <laughs> No, thank you. Just gonna keep it moving. We got. I saw those tents. We got a lake here too. 
The castle in the background. My god, this game looks so good. Everywhere you're looking around is such a beautiful spot. Campfire. There's some gasoline that we can use for the generator. Anyone in there? I'm going to pick that up in a second. What are these guys doing? Explorer's Journal. We have found a wonderful place for camping. Apparently, it's right here among these mountains that those strange events occur. Last night, we spotted strange lights in the woods. It seems the stories told about these forests are true. We immediately focused the telescope on the point where the light beams appeared. And when we looked through it, none of us could believe our eyes. We were all shocked. How come that planet was so close to Earth? A planet? And how does one explain that it's not there anymore? Wait, what? They were seeing a planet? Like, maybe it wasn't. What we have seen makes no sense. Something very strange is up there. They saw a planet close to Earth? Can we look through the telescope that they had? Uh... I'm hearing whispering. Is it that thing in the lower left? Or is that just the moon? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm guessing it's that thing in the lower left, right? It's, that's what they were talking about. Oh... Oh, I thought something was going to be there based on what I was hearing. So it seems like anything to do with that, the sighting of whatever's going on, you get those whispers. With the impact before, with that whatever struck the ground, the same thing happened. And the minute that we looked through the telescope, the exact same, the exact same thing happened again. I'm hearing my footsteps, by the way, and it just it has a, a very minor delay, and it makes me think that it's someone else. Oh yeah, that definitely sounds like fire. Do want to know if we can swim too. It'll be good to know. Oh yeah, we can. Oh. Is this one of the explorers? Don't think, yeah, I can't, I can't. Oh, I can't interact with that. That made me jump. Forgot we need oxygen, right? <laughs> we definitely need oxygen. Remember that. All right, let's go and fill that generator up then. So we're discovering explorer's notes and obviously evidence that people have been here before. We should absolutely be on our toes now though because if what we found out before about that ancient whatever they are group Oh no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Oh, where's the turn? It's this one. Oh, I thought the cave was going to collapse. If that ancient group of people are in the area, they're going to be looking for the same thing as us. Fill up the generator. Is that going to be enough juice? Flip, flip that on. Oh my! Okay. Let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, we're going up. Okay, nice. I thought we would descend into the cave. Whoa! Holy crap. Please don't do that. This way around. Oh my god, no, don't do that. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Go. Oh, I thought something was going to happen. Yep. Oh! I was stood next to propane tanks. <laughs> yep. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, that that's horrible. That weightlessness feeling. Yeah, no, don't like that one bit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yep, that's what I was stood next to. Go, go, go. Oh, there we go. Just got away from the blast. I want to know if anything's happened down there. Has it revealed anything? There's a train track. And there's a bridge. I'm not seeing anything like our place though. Some buildings, the castle, water tower. Alright, let's keep it going then. Yeah, I, I didn't think anything like that explosion would happen, but... <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Massive explosion down there with the generator. Ok, 
Okay. What the hell happened over there? Who was that guy? We're jumping. We gotta go and save who that was. Come on, come on. Suck it up. We're okay. We're all right. <laughs> that was a hell of a fall, too. Oh, we're really injured. Are you okay? Anybody there? I don't think we're going to get there in time if there's any life left in them. Definitely sounded like a gunshot, too, right? Like over this side. No signs of blood. Not seen any footprints anywhere. I'm, I'm guessing they've gone through that gate around the back of it. Damn, we're really, really hurt. Oh. No, this is just rocks. Alright, looks like we're healing up or at least feeling a little bit better. I'm not seeing anybody though. Alright, let's keep it going then. I'm going to try and get through that gate. Maybe we'll find something. Okay, I didn't think that was going to work. I checked everything back there. There was no sign of anyone after that gunshot and there wasn't really anything I can use on that gate. No, no, don't do that. Oh, he's swaying. No, 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 just go. Okay, let's get our breath back. We're really not doing so good. Let's climb this little bit. This isn't me moving this slow either. This is, we're injured right now. We're, we're really struggling to keep it together. Am I going to jump over that while I've just completely mangled my leg off that fall? Oh, this is going to suck. Here we go. Oh, you can imagine that pain if you've like broken your ankle or something like that. Come on. It was something just to make a splint with at least. What in the hell? Somebody living in this? Oh wait, was this was this where our uncle was? Medicine. First aid kit. Oh. First aid kit. Had everything I needed. My leg is better now. Nice. Something's happening. The precipice from the outside, April 15th, 1974. There's those sounds again. Oh, that sounds like a bug. Can you guys make sense of this? If you can, let me know what you're saying in the comments. Because I'm really struggling with that. It just sounds terrifying. It sounds like a moth, like, going past your ear every time it does that. Ramping up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the hell to make of that. We'll look at those drawings in a second. Yeah, th this is more than likely where Edgar was, right? Those symbols. Is that the cube? Is he tried to decrypt what was on it? Like the, um,. The symbols and stuff? What the hell's inside those containers? It's that stuff that we saw before, isn't it? Wait, let's see if we can crouch down and get a look at it. Wait, what is that? More stuff over there, too. It's probably that stuff we saw in the apartment that looked like it was alive. So weird. Oh, Grandfather Williams' journal. We have so little knowledge of the world around us. The visions of the sacred places have finally begun. The distorted reality they reveal is extremely fascinating. But was what I experienced real? Or was it just in my head? I could feel clearly that my body was there. That it was part of that place. Next time I'll record everything with my voice recorder. I want to be absolutely sure that what I experienced wasn't just a vision. This sacred artifact has unimaginable power. I was lucky to find it while I was alone. Okay, so he doesn't want it getting into the wrong hands. That's pretty clear. What was this? That was the page. Is that everything? 
Again, with those footsteps. I think that's everything. Oh, wait, the cassette. No, we took a look at that. There's a propane tank in there, too. Can we unlock this in case we need to go back? That seems like a smart move, right? No, okay, still locked. So we need a key or something. There's an axe there that's been used for chopping wood. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Now I feel a little bit safer, especially seeing as though there's a crazy person with a gun. That sounds like he's already got one murder under his belt. We can't use the axe on that. I guess we go deeper into the wilderness then. Even that fall there from that... Whoa. What is going on there? Oh, they're the lights that he might have been speaking about. Or at least it looks like it's coming from a tower or something. Maybe a radio tower? But yeah, that fall there, even as if the other one wasn't bad enough, <laughs> that one would have done some serious damage. Another door into the mountain. Anything here? Oh, okay. We're going to try this door and there's going to be another way around. And we've got that axe. It's locked. You have to find another way into the cave. Who knows what my grandfather hid in there? Well, we're about to find out because we're breaking these boards. I mean, at least we can assume that we're alone right now, right? Should I unlock this? Okay, I can't open it. I mean, I'm saying that because obviously this wasn't broken up and that door's closed unless they have the key to it. <gasps> I think that's me. <laughs> I'm so jumpy right now. Any kind of sound, it immediately startles me and I just freeze up. We got another journal. Grandfather William's journal. It's oh, the whispering. Oh, I don't like that. It's all true. I managed to record everything. This is the confirmation I was looking for. I never imagined I would one day be walking right there. That's so off-putting, by the way, that whispering. It sounds horrible in my ear. In the outside, that place is beyond description. What was that? There's one thing I shouldn't underestimate, though. If I can see, I can be seen, too. Next time, I will have to tread very carefully if I want to go deeper. Something must have noticed my presence. During the exploration, I sensed a dreadful... I think that's supposed to be malignant presence, maybe? I'm not sure. That I still can't explain. That gaze. I can still feel it upon me, even now, while I'm writing this journal. Oh, the whispers are still there. Oh, listen to that. Oh, I don't know if I like this. All right. Let's be careful. I think this is what he was talking about, going deeper into the cave. We come in peace. Oh, I've got goosebumps from head to toe right now. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. That object. Oh, what was that? I don't know what the hell has just happened. We blacked out? God, my head. What's happened to me? Did I faint? Taking this strange object out here and study it in the light. Okay. So we want to leave now. Has that done anything to us? It feels like that really messed us up. And it was just there for the taking, right? I think that's what Grandfather Williams' journal was telling us about. Oh, what is this? This way? Oh, the cube is illuminating where we're going to and it keeps cutting out. <gasps> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> and the whispers are still going too. 
maybe the voices are coming from the cube, but it just feels like they're all around me right now. Come on. If a face appears out in the darkness. Oh my god, that's going. Don't say don't don't even turn around. Just go. Just go. I'm sprinting. <laughs> We're getting out of this place. Come on. Oh, I hate everything about that. Oh. It's already nighttime. How is that possible? I must have been out for many hours. I better go back to my Uncle Edgar's apartment. I'll be able to study the cube there. Okay. Looks like we got it then before that, whatever the organization was. That ancient group of people. God, the sound design, guys. Like I was saying, those voices and the wit. The weird, mysterious noises that we're hearing. It might very well be coming from the cube that we've just found. I'm telling you guys, it was... It felt like it was on the back of my neck. In, oh! In my right ear. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no. No. Don't hang around. Don't hang around. I would love to meet another worldly creature. But not if it's going to try and hurt us. <laughs> No thanks. Come on. Let's get back to the car. Let's get back to the apartment. Something tells me oh, this isn't the end of the shit. Something's going to happen. I'm going to see somebody moving. There's that hooded figure that's around too. Oh, lights flickering. There's an entry in the journal. I might take a quick peek at that before we... The car's gone. Where's my car? Oh. I guess we just... We're going foot this way. Right, let's see what the journal's saying real quick. The cube. This object is the same thing I saw in my dreams. How is that possible? I feel a strong and constant call coming from it. That's. I'm guessing that's the whispers and like the weird sense that we got going on right now. It's like something inside is calling me. And what really happened in that cave? I've never felt anything so intense in my whole life. I must have been out for many hours, as it's already nighttime. I've also experienced strange visions, which are getting worse. My god. Am I going crazy? I have to find out more about this object. Oh wait, there might be more. Okay, so we can go back now, so we've got actual pages that we can refer to. Looks like we are going on foot then. Maybe to that radio tower? Oh, we got lights up ahead. There's a house. I've said to you guys on multiple times, or when we, whenever we stumble across this topic, I... Oh! oh! Holy shit. Whenever we stumble across this topic of otherworldly beings and stuff like that, I'm fascinated by it. But it definitely doesn't take away the horror that can come along with it. And the last couple of things we've checked out with this and the previous game that we looked at. I just can't get enough of it though. It's like a guilty pleasure. We could go that way or we could go in here. Okay, we can't get in there yet. I gotta get out of this rain too. It's so loud. I can barely see where I'm going. Oh shit! That's the hooded figure. Oh my god, he's coming. No, no, no. I'm not stopping. I'm not turning around. Go, go, go. Oh my god, get inside. Was that an... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Was that an hallucination or something? Did I imagine all of that? I mean, I did say, guys. <laughs> I don't know what's real anymore. My car, but... How come it wasn't here before? Is everything even real? I don't understand what's happening to me. Must go back to Edgar's apartment. Yep, okay. Let's just get the fuck out of this place. Oh my god. Chapter 4, Back at Edgar's. The members of the Order are everywhere. 
and now they know I'm in possession of the cube. I'm lucky to have found it before they did. From now on, I must be careful. These people are fanatical, and I mustn't allow them to catch me. I'm sure I'll find more information in Edgar's apartment. I hope it's safe there. Let's do this. Back on the creepy stairs again. He couldn't have just... <laughs> let me ready to go inside Edgar, Edgar's apartment. Newspaper. Mitchell case. The mystery of Mr. Mitchell's disappearance deepens. Research interrupted because of bad weather. One month after Edgar Mitchell's disappearance, the police have identified his probable whereabouts at the time of his disappearance. This is thought to have been the family cabin, a small building deep in the mountains at an altitude of 1,500 meters. The building was found completely destroyed by fire. The search team's arrival in the area has been particularly difficult due to the recent heavy snowfalls. The cabin can only be reached on foot via steep and challenging mountain paths. We experienced that before, <laughs> which are very dangerous to walk on at this time of year. It wasn't snowing, but it was still dangerous. According to Detective Damiano, the dynamics of the blaze are clear. The fire appears to have started in the fireplace, which had been left unattended for a long time. Abundant traces of blood have been found in front of the cabin, suggesting that Edgar's, Edgar was wounded, probably because of the blaze itself. However, following the traces left by him leading towards the woods provided no clues because, although initially clearly visible, they were found to disappear unexplainably in the vicinity of the cabin. Another mystery complicates the case still further. Edgar's traces are not the only ones observed at the site. The police have found other tracks next to his, but their origin and shape are unclear. Detective... Oh, that whisper... Detective Damiano was not at liberty to divulge too much information. There is really strong whispering in my ear now. It's gone from just a mumble to I'm hearing like clarity in it. Damiano was not at liberty to divulge too much information, but he described the footprints as having been made by something huge and very heavy. Was that the thing that chased us then? I thought it was just a person in a hood. Today the search has been suspended because of bad weather and this suggests that there is little chance of finding Edgar still alive in the mountains, where the temperature is currently well below freezing. The whispering. And again, it's probably coming from the cube, but it's so loud now. Oh. See, now that it says the investigation turned over footprints, Oh, the lightning is so well done, but it's terrifying. It said that the investigation turn, turned over. Why is it so dark there? It turned over footprints of something heavy. I'm starting to think that maybe there's something else going on that we haven't seen yet, you know? I can't hide the Cuban Egg's apartment. They will find it immediately. Have I got to hide it in this one? Is that why the door's open? Where could we hide this? Can't go upstairs, right? Oh, I can we haven't been up here yet. Where would be a good place to hide this? It's hiding it amongst like crap. So it's not obvious. We'll probably do the trick. There we go. I'll hide the cube in here until I do my research in Edgar's apartment. I might find the answers I've been looking for. That's such a cool looking thing as well. I mean, it definitely looks alien, right? <laughs> Hence the name. Oh, you... is that noise I looked at this too just as that happened slowly does it god I would love a flashlight right now oh okay this is terror right now that's what this is you see down there oh my god it's pitch black is there a light switch? Please give me a light switch. Alone. Yep. Yep. Oh no. Another hallucination. Oh, we can go in here now. Oh wait, this was the place. Footsteps? This was the place. 
where we were captured, right? No, this isn't it. This is a different layout, unless it's this door. Yep, this is it. Okay, I recognize it now. So we haven't checked this room out. I am hearing those noises, by the way, that are coming from down the corridor. Oh, okay, so... So you got... Oh, there's the statue. Oh, the statuette from the other one. I can put that... Yep, nope, nope, nope. Nope. Easy does it. Just be quiet. Stay low. Oh, can I climb through the window? Just check the picture. There's a strange crack beneath the painting. Maybe I can move it. Lower the painting. I can't move it. Okay, we can't we can't mess with that yet. I have the statuette though. Please don't make sound. Oh, it's making sound. Oh my god, is that in the attic? Oh, I hate everything about this. I don't like it. Turn. Nothing. That was the painting, right? Must have been. I can't close this door. Something breathing or something rifling through my shit. Oh, my uncle's shit. Come on, lower the painting down. Okay, there's a door handle and a cassette. The outside, May 14, 1974. Sounds totally different than the other stuff we've been hearing. Oh, there's that thing again. That's the one familiar thing that we got from the last cassette. Whoa, what is that? Okay. So that was different then. There's a lever here. Oh. Set. That's all it was, right? So we've got the mirror in that room. Something's playing the damn piano. And then that door opened that didn't have a handle for it. Oh my... Yep, yep, I'm right there with you. What is that? I am turning every single light. I can't on. Oh no, you did not just do that. What in the... What was playing the piano? This disgusting substance seems to have come out of the mirror. Yeah, it likes, it's almost like the mirrors are a portal, or at least this one. Whatever it was. <laughs> it liked to. I'm not doing it. Oh, okay. Maybe I should. That sound is coming from up there, but the trap door's locked. Yeah, I said that. I called that shit straight away. Oh, what is that? Is that like a clay model of something? It sounds like something's in the walls, too. Oh. <laughs> okay, another entrance to a tunnel. I want to know what these are. What? It's got like a goat's head or something. Journal. Take a peek. A 
page from Edgar's journal. Was that place really my father's secret hideout? It's difficult to believe, but everything suggests it was. I tried to bring as many things as I could with me to examine them here in my study. Many of his notes are written in a language that I don't know. However, this is his handwriting, I'm sure. Those bizarre photos did nothing more than lead me to ask more questions. Those landscapes are so surreal, and what the hell are those huge structures in the distance? It looks like my father was doing research into the ancient artifact and its connection to some mysterious places populated by some sort of horrible beings. But what does all this mean? What was he really working on? In the shed, there were some strange statuettes and old cassettes too. I brought them here to study them. Get in, get in there. Oh, I can't move, I can just see through the, the crack in the... Oh. Oh no! <gasps> Is that peeking through the crack in the wardrobe? Oh. Is it safe to come out? No? <laughs> no, it's not. I didn't hear him leave, or it leave, whatever it is. We're gonna do it though, right? Oh god, yeah, we're gonna do it. Did it take anything? Journal. Nope. I've already checked that. I don't see anything missing. There's a chest. Chest is secured with a strange mechanism. I need to force it with something. Wait, didn't we get an axe? Oh. Oh, the attic's open. Okay. <laughs> Deep breaths. Here we go. Oh my god, I ever- Okay. No. No. <laughs> I don't want to talk because I know something is about to go down. What is that? Oh, please tell me we can. Oh, my God. What? I've just had this weird realization that maybe Edgar's here. We went looking for him, but maybe he's been here all along in the, uh, in the attic. Examine. Strange machinery, what if I could place the cube here? So I'd have to go back and get it though, right? I don't really want to leave when I can hear footsteps. This strange contraption is the most mysterious object that I took from my father's secret hideout. What's its function? It seems that it allows the creation of small magnetic field, but something's missing for sure. There was an ancient metal door near the- that sounded like it was right next to me then. There's an ancient metal door near the hideout, but I wasn't able to open it. It may lead deep into the mountain, and what I need is probably right there. The whole area is full of tunnels and old galleries. People say that in those mountains there's a huge web of underground passages that stretch for miles. Oh, I can hear the wood creaking. But now that I think of it, the family cabin is not very far from that place. It's right at the top of that mountain. What if somehow everything's connected by the tunnels? Are there more of them around there? First of all, I should go to the cabin and check it out. I'll leave early in the morning. An old picture of the family's cabin. I don't think we stumbled across that, right? It wasn't the one where we got inside the gate. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Anything we can open? Nothing. We don't have the cube on us, so we can't place it in there. I heard you in here, you son of a bitch. Just, just do it. Oh, what is that? Animal skin? Oh, I have to find... I have to keep going. I have to find out. I'm just trying to, trying to find a path. 
<laughs> I don't see anything though. I don't think there's anything we could have could have moved either. Like the boxes are. Oh, there we go. We could have just got through that way. Untitled tape, May 17, 1974. Was that a footstep? That sounded like something massive, right? And it was breathing and then it just sounded like it took a step and that kind of just takes me back to the report that the detective said that there's something else in the area. The footsteps that he found were huge. Telephone. It's all green glowing stuff out there. I don't know what that represents. Something tells me I should go back and get the cube. I'm definitely not alone, though. There's no way we are. And... Place the cube. What does that do? Oh! Is this thing creating its own... Oh! 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 God! Oh God! Where the hell did we just fall to? So that wasn't real? I'm starting to get the feeling... It's kind of a parallel type thing, you know? Alive? Where's the cube gone? Uh, uh, what's happening to me? Whoa, what? Were we gone for a really long time? Excuse me? What does this mean? I think it means we're in trouble. It's locked, luckily for me. I don't like the sounds coming from in there at all, yeah. Could not agree with that more. Okay, this went south real fast. Door. a body there. What is this place? I, I'm kind of speechless right now, just purely because we've gone from, like, having a slow-paced investigation in an apartment to this. What? I don't even know where to begin. There's a phone ringing over there. Can we go through this? Nope. Half expected as much. What is this? Okay. I thought I had a handle on what was going on. Now I've got no idea. And I'm not going near the swinging blades of death. Way down or up. Something tells me it's this way. There's stuff in the cages as well. What's that? You can hear things like groaning in pain or... The closest... The closest thing I can describe this to, what you could imagine, is probably hell. There's more of that stuff there. Is it moving? Yeah, it is. Look at that.
We are definitely not alone. Another mechanism over there. I'm just gonna go straight to that. <laughs> what the hell do we do? Those machines are huge. Who could have built them? Whatever it is we're hearing, I'm guessing. It's so loud too. Like it you you get really disorientated with everything that's going on because you just can't focus in on one thing. I've got to go through these doors. Nothing. Okay, so there's a loud noise over this way. I just went back in there and went up to the gears and it said, what if we tried to stop the gears? Iron bar. Probably with this, right? We're going to jam the gears up and something's going to happen. Hopefully it'll be that door opening. Here we go. Oh shit, go, go, go. <gasps> what the hell is that? Go, 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 go. doesn't emit any heat. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing is surprising me right now. I, I barely got a look at that thing. It seems to need some kind of mechanism to open it. I don't know what it was. It was huge. And it was fast too. I just took a quick glimpse back and then just kept on going. Okay, the blades have stopped. Can I pick something up? This, like, this, some of this reminds me of what you would find with that predator lore. I know I said it before, but... Let's see. Oh, God, what sort of creature is this? So this is, like, something... This is living. I'll have to take that. Oh, wait. Wait, we just pulled out, like, a, a spear or something. That phone's still ringing back there, too. Maybe we can break something open with what we've just pulled out of that creature. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing with the door. Seems to need some kind of mechanism to open it. Okay, there we go. I mean, really, really cool. I, right now, I'm kind of in shock because I don't know what to expect. Oh, the noises, the noises. And there's a portal there. Give me that hammer. we open this? Nope. <laughs> I guess we're going back that way then with all the weird noises. Like I was saying though, I just... I'm trying to just keep going, you know? The minute that I stop, I'm probably going to die. So we're just going to keep it moving. I have no answers for what we're experiencing right now. I think we'll find out, but I just don't want to sit still. Okay, water's coming in over there. We don't know what those things are. Guessing I can't go through that yet. Let's try this way. Oh! Oh shit, that thing's coming. That thing's gonna come, isn't it? Open this. Oh, wait. Oh, wait! There's the key. So, it mentioned a planet getting close to Earth. I wonder if if that's where we are right now. That's a cool, cool way of thinking about it, like... But then that doesn't really explain what we've been through before. <laughs> so many questions. Alright, we saw something cross through this door a second ago. <laughs> Is it still going to be there? It went from right to left, didn't it? Over that way. I think this... Oh, no, wait. Did we come in this way? Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah, we came in over there. And we heard the, the phone ringing. Here it is. Just go. Don't even look back. 
just get there. This whole place has been one giant trip. Oh. Every time, every time it happens. That was back in Edgar's apartment too. This way. Oh, wait. You guys already know what that looks like, right? I think it's supposed to be that. All right, let's get back then. Can we actually get back to where we were? I think that the way was blocked off. Let's find out. Well, something down there. <laughs> Wait a second, is this different than what it was before? Oh, that's so cool! I just want to try this door before we go. No, there's no way in. I can at least say that I've been pretty much everywhere I can before I go this way, right? Oh, that's so sick. And there's the portal. We're back. Ah, uh, uh, my head. It's all over? I don't think so. <laughs> all right, let's slow it down a little bit. Oh, okay. What was that crazy place? Did I have another vision? No. What I've experienced can't simply be my imagination. That place was real and I was really there, I'm sure. It's like I was living in another reality. I was trapped in an endless nightmare. The cube must be the cause of all this. What's its real purpose? Who made it? And those things there were what I was talking about. Really cool stuff, though. All right, I th we, we gained a hammer, though. So does that mean we've got what it takes now to open that chest? <laughs> Someone going to be in there? Okay. You break it open now. Oh, that looked like the thing that was chasing us down. Okay, it's got like a, a skull with fangs and then it's got horns with like a xenomorph back of the head. Found a secret. Does that look like any of these? I don't think, yeah, that's not really this, is it? Chapter 5, The Gas Station. I can't get that place out of my head. What I saw has been in my head the whole way. Edgar's cabin must be somewhere among these mountains. I didn't imagine it was this high up. There's a lot of snow here and it's freezing outside. There should be a gas station just ahead. But a fallen tree is blocking the road. I'll have to leave the car here and continue on foot.